Hey there, I'm Mastin Kipp, founder of thedailylove.com and author of the new book, Daily Love Growing Into Grace, and welcome to Daily Love TV. So a pretty smart guy named Albert Einstein once said that one of the most important decisions we can make is whether we live in a friendly universe or a hostile universe. And what I find so fascinating about that observation is that he basically says that the choice is ours, right? So one of the things that I've been really sort of a believer in and, and a belief that I've had that's really carried me throughout some of the darkest moments of my life is this idea that the life and the universe is happening for you rather than to you. That life is happening for you rather than to you. Now, I know we've probably heard that a bunch, but what does that mean? Well, what if life was rigged in your favor? What if life was rigged in your favor? And what if some of the challenges that you're having in your life are actually wonderful lessons? What if some of the the pitfalls, some of those moments where like you feel like life is kicking you in the teeth, what if those are some of the greatest possible, you know, growing opportunities in your life? And what if life wasn't just about setting goals and achieving them, becoming rich and famous and successful or, you know, getting all this stuff? But what if life was really about spiritual growth and, and when you get that spiritual growth, not only do you get, you know, financial rewards and, and professional rewards, all that type of stuff, but you get what's most important, which is a sense of fulfillment, a sense of happiness, and a sense of peace throughout your everyday life. What if that was the case? So as I was going through my own life, you know, there have been times in my life, you know, I read about this in my book, Daily Love Growing Into Grace. I had like sort of like two rock bottoms. <clears throat> and the first rock bottom, when I was in my early 20s, you know, I didn't really think life was rigged for me. It really felt like life hated me, to be honest. But as I started reading personal growth material and, and maturing and having more experiences, when that second rock bottom came, I just decided, you know what? All this crazy stuff is happening in one week, but this is happening for me rather than to me. And if I look back at my life at that time, you know, I was in a, in a, in a business relationship that was tumultuous. I was taking uh, a lot of prescription medication, over-prescribed medication. I'm not happy about that. My body was very toxic. Um, I had gout in my big foot. You know, I was not happy. I was single and really unhappy in my personal life. Just there was so much dysfunction in my life. And when this divine storm week happened, it was painful. Like I lost, felt like I lost everything. But what I did is I, I lost everything on the outside, but what I got back was myself. And I had the opportunity uh, moving forward to really find out who I was and what I really wanted. And now, you know, if I contrast my life today to what it was then, like I would gladly go through that again, knowing that the outcome is what it is. But the thing is, is that part of the reason why the outcome was a positive outcome in my life is because I chose to see that the worst that could happen was actually life operating for me. So my question for you is, you know, there's got to be moments in your life where like just out of the blue, it feels like life is just ripping apart or how could this happen? I'm a good person. Why do bad things happen to good people? All those questions. And maybe there's something out of the blue that just happened to you recently. But ask this question. And it might seem insane to ask this question, <clears throat> but just ask it. If life was rigged in my favor, right? If life was happening for me rather than to me, and if there's a, a really powerful lesson for me to learn in this hard time, what would that be? You know, it's really easy to, to future trip and, and get into the blame mode and blame life for the way that it is. And look, I'm not saying that there aren't hard times. I'm not saying that there are times when life, you know, can be so painful and, and especially the stuff we see in the news all the time. Like I get it. But let's just talk about you and me for a second, right? If the things that were the hardest things in your life, those moments where you feel like you're in a divine storm or life is against you, what if you chose for life to be for you? What if you thought that this is actually rigged in my favor? How would you see the situation differently? I'm really curious. What would be the lesson? What would be the lesson? Maybe the lesson is, you know what? I gotta learn how to love myself more. I gotta learn how to trust myself more. I gotta learn that you know, life is valuable and precious and I can't waste another moment living in fear or living for other people. You know what? What would be the lesson? So my, my, my sort of, you know, question for you is pop on over to thedaylove.com. If you're watching this video on Facebook or YouTube or somewhere else, pop on over to thedaylove.com and below this video, you know, hop in the comment section and really answer the question. If life was rigged in your favor, how would that change the way that you see what's happening in your life right now? You know, there's a great conversation that happens below on all the comments over on thedaylove.com. So head on over, hop in the conversation, and uh, you know, join in and, and let me know like if life was rigged in your favor, 
how would you see things differently? And most importantly, and as always here at Daily Love TV, all of this could just be talk, but I hope for you is that you get out there, take action, and make it real. I'll see you next time. Can you believe it? My new book, Daily Love, Growing Into Grace, is out September 9th. I can't wait to share it with you. To check out all the information on how to pre-order and order the book, head on over to growingintograce.com for all the information.